Okay, thanks for tuning in again to the Samba Play Along series. My name is Mitch Oldham and I hope you're enjoying everything that we've been doing so far. The next stage is to look at some signals and those signals are to go with certain breaks or different sections to the songs. Basically, when we're playing a samba song, um, the simple version of it is that there is a rhythm and there are some breaks. And you need to signal to let everybody know what's going to happen next. The important thing is let everybody see the signal first and then there'll be four whistles. A lot of the music that we're playing in samba is written in two, two, so it's one, two. That's each bar, so you probably find that you get a two bar count. So whistle, 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 whistle. Four counts, good enough time to know what's gonna happen next. So here's a series of little videos um, that just show you each of the signals, okay. This is the signal to stop. So it would be this. Stop. Okay? This is the signal for a short break, which would be a four beat break. Essentially that's two bars, so it would go like this. Stop. Two, three, four, start again. Okay? This is the signal for the clave break. Effectively, we're cutting the band in two, so we're gonna have the high section and the low section, which is everybody and then the surdus. So, I'll do this like a pair of scissors, and then show how many times we're gonna do it. So maybe four times. So it would be something like this. We use the tambourine, and I'll sing the surdus. Boom, 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 boom. Start again after that. Okay. The next signal is a crescendo. A crescendo is where we start soft and end loud. If you see that written down on a piece of music, it's two lines getting further and further apart. So I'm going to use this signal here, okay? A little bit like a shadow puppet, all right? So it goes like that. So it's getting louder. So that is eight notes. We're going to use the tambourine again. So we go something like this. Then carry on straight afterwards. Okay. They are the most essential signals. There's also, if we're going to have an, an introduction to a song, then I put my hand on my head like this, and then I'll whistle four times, and then we do the introduction. If we're going to go back to a previous section, I will get my stick and point to my back, my favourite break signal. There you go, back to the previous section. Again, there'll always be four whistles before any of this happens. Okay? That's pretty much it for the generic signals. If there's a specific break for that song, and one that only happens in the song, then what I'll be doing is this, pretending to break something, and it might be break number one. So I would do break one. Or if there's a second break that's just for that piece of music, break two. Again, there's always four whistles before everything, okay? If there's some place in the song where I want you to carry on, then I'll do this and point to that section, okay? Again, four whistles before that. Radio, that's pretty much it. Enjoy all the videos. Speak to you later, bye-bye.